Hey, Internet friend, it's Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative and Synergy This and That. And I have a, a new person online that wasn't from around here in the Twin Cities, but is now. Her name is Laura Pennington. Are you there? I am you here. You can hear me loud and clear? Yes, I can. <laughs> Never know what this Internet stuff, some stuff comes and goes. And I just got done flying back from Los Angeles and I realized those planes are operated by these computers. I know, isn't that a little bit scary? <laughs> it's okay, you know, you're just flying through the air. The, fl <laughs> the flying doesn't bother me, it's that sudden stop when you hit the ground, that's irritating. Yeah, I don't like that one either. <laughs> so let's learn a little about you. You, uh, you're new, you. I heard you're new to St. Paul, Minnesota. Yes, recently relocated here from Indiana for my husband's job, so we are new to the area. Okay, and you're married and got kids. I don't no have kids? any kids, I Fur am babies? married though. <laughs> you fur babies? I do. I have two cats and a See, dog. Two cats and a dog. You have a farm. Yeah, we're, we're getting started that way. Yeah. No birds, fish? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> okay. It's coming along. How long have you been doing? You're an author and you talk about being like a, a writer? Yes, I've been a freelance writer for the last seven years. I did it for a year part-time. And then I've been doing it full time for the last six. Well, and this I will be interesting. I will. I've always wondered how anybody makes any money writing stuff. I know that if you're real popular, like uh, some of those people that have, you know, national publication articles and stuff like that. But still, I want to hear more. <laughs> I I basically write other people's website and blog material for them. So okay. companies that don't have time or don't have interest, I come up with the copy so that they can consistently be posting to their blog and get traffic to their own website. Okay. So that's a lot of what I do. And I know a lot of people are always surprised, uh, writers and kind of artists in general, there's sort of this perception that uh, you, you barely get by and all of that. But uh, in light of digital marketing, a lot of people need help with content and social media and those types right. of things. Right. So you got some knowledge and savvy with the whole SEO thing and all that. Like yeah. if you're in Indiana and now you're in St. Paul, if you're trying to attract local attention, there's really not a lot to write about, about Portugal or Spain or Jamaica. You might want to keep it kind of local keywords, right? Exactly. Yeah. And a lot of the companies that I work with are law firms. So they're trying to beat out their competition in their practice area. They want to be number one for car accidents in St. Paul or estate planning in the right. local area. So that's my job to help them get there. Very cool. So how long have you been doing this? Seven years total. The longest job I've ever held. <laughs> <laughs> Your own job, right? Yes, yes. I like it. I'm an advocate of self-employment myself. I think a lot of people ought to at least have a side hustle kind of thing yeah, just to absolutely. keep it going. So you, you focus on legal law firm stuff. I do. I thought about being an attorney in college until I worked for an attorney and saw that she put in 80 hours a week and was kind of stressed out all the time. But I figured there was still a way for maybe me to use that interest and that knowledge, but do something that had a little bit more of a flexible schedule. My husband just left the military after 14 years. So mm -hmm. we've moved eight times in 10 years and having a career that follows me wherever I go sure. was really important for us. So being a freelance writer is definitely a much better fit than attorney or something else. Do you ever have that thought of why am I creating my own competition kind of thing? Uh, sometimes, but not not all the time. I, I feel like there's a lot of opportunity in mm -hmm. the online and digital marketing space. So I, sometimes I won't give away, you know, all of my secrets or anything like that. But I do try to help people as much as possible. Well, it's good you got the abundant mentality. If you, I mean, back in the olden days with the yellow pages, you'd go under attorneys, and there's page, 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 page. page. So there's plenty of lawyers out there that need help. So I mean, you could probably make a living off of just helping one attorney or two. So exactly. Plenty, right? A lot of attorneys recognize they need to invest in content marketing and SEO, and they mm. either don't have the time or it's just not the best use of their time. They make money closing totally. cases, right? Exactly. So uh, it's my job to take on the, that aspect of their marketing for them. And working with a handful of attorneys at a time is usually about where I keep my sweet spot. Yeah, that, I had a friend in when I lived in Asheville, North Carolina, and he. this is sort of aside from your writing, but uh, he also worked with attorneys. What he did was he had a, he somehow he figured out how to get that Google location thing figured out with you mail the postcard and he would get an 800 number and he would get the phone ringing for like DWI attorney. Oh yeah. Get the phone ringing. Then he'd sell that phone number to an attorney. 
smart. Oh, very smart. So it's basically smart. business like coming in, and and he just had a, he's just really good at getting that local thing. You know, like if you live in like Sacramento and you get a DWI, just target that little niche. Phone yeah. starts ringing, and you sell it to an attorney, then go to the next state or next city. Very cool. Cool. Yeah, great idea. So that's something similar. So what you do is you kind of teach people how to do this, uh, just writing in general, or focused on the attorney niche. Well, I don't, I haven't actually ever taught anyone how to do it for the attorney niche. I really like working in the legal niche because not a lot of people would like to do it. Some of it's very technical. Some people would find it boring. Some mm -hmm. people have the perception that attorneys are difficult to deal with. I don't find that to be true, but it kind of keeps my, my own competition limited. So I teach people some of the general aspects of how to become a freelance writer. Where do you find clients? How do you create a writing sample? How do you set your rates? Because mm -hmm. there is so much demand. I've been fully booked for six years and have to turn down clients in my busiest periods. So I think it's, uh, that's part of my business that I now help other people figure out how to start their own freelance writing business. That even makes if sense. It's not yeah. in my niche. Yeah. Also, I think it's always good to find something you have a passion for. Like I've got a passion for the events industry. So I'm involved with events and trade shows and event marketing and stuff. Because it, it yeah. keeps, it pulls you through, you know. Yeah, it does. I mean, I learn something new every single day. Some people might find that boring to, you know, dive into statutes or figure out which states updated this law and whatever. But for me, that's something interesting. It feels right. like a variety every day. And I like that. I might have to connect you with my friend, Anthony Signorelli. He's got a writer's uh, retreat place over in St. Paul called Blue Harbor. It's a oh, place perfect. where writers I, I, That's a great idea. Yeah, I will. Uh, we'll chat a little bit after we get done with this. But so... I think I kind of got it. If you, how do you get a hold of you if you want to learn from what you're doing? <laughs> yeah, sure. Check out my website. It's at betterbizacademy.com. I have a podcast for freelancers, and the information on how to find my book is also on the website. So betterbizacademy.com. Yes. Well, that's easy enough to remember. Yes. Better biz. It even sounds fun to say. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to keep these kind of short because people have their schedules and stuff. So I just put them out there so that people can kind of just jump on and watch for five, ten, seven minutes or something and figure out what's going on. And then they can get directly to you and check out your website and get to know, like, and trust who you are so they can work with you. Is there anything else you might want to throw in that might be of help? Uh, maybe you got a little freebie offer or something to incentivize people to join your club? Yeah, sure. So I, I talk a lot about Upwork and how to use that. It's the world's leading job board site. So if you visit my website, you'll find lots of great free resources about Upwork and some material to kind of help you get started with your freelance career. Very cool. Okay. So the website again was what? Betterbizacademy.com. Better biz. I'm 62. So the mind kind of disappeared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will look it up on the internet. And what I do then now is I will put that on the, the blogs and link that link in there. And then if anybody's looking for it, they could basically just Google search. With me, the, my keywords is Magic Brad. That's my little internet name. And then Synergy, and they'll find stuff. You just put, I'll, I'll bet if you, later, a little bit later, if you typed in Magic Brad Synergy Law, you'll find this blog post. That's just the way it works. All right, awesome. Well, I thank you for taking the time. If you want to hang on, we can have a further chat. Other than that, I'm going to sign this off and beam it up to the universe. All right, thank you. Peace.